Action! At the beginning of the movie, he's in a rain-soaked Britain, and he sets off in pursuit of a lovely beach in the south of France. Unsurprisingly, it is not a, a simple journey. There are some very big scenes and some very big ideas, very, very full of incidents. And, you know, there's, you know, there really isn't a dull moment. The nature of movie and movie making is at the centre of the story. It seemed absolutely right that we should have a director figure. And obviously, you know, villains are always, you know, more interesting and more amusing than nice people. So, so that's why Willem, extremely kindly, <laughs> has agreed to play a, a not particularly pleasant and extremely egotistical and self-centred person. Is it really so hard for you guys? I mean, all you really have to do is this. I'm painted as a uh, kind of art house uh, prima donna that, you know, for money is making his yogurt commercial. It seems like it's something slightly different than I've done before and that usually really helps whet my appetite. Sabine is uh, becoming a friend of Bean, but at the very beginning she's, um, she's an actress. It's not like a real love story, but it's more like a real friendship. Two people maybe alone and uh, looking, looking each other for something different, but it can be the same, like they, they want to do something, they want to be happy. What is always dominant, I feel, in, uh, in Bean's mind is, is a sense of fun. His childish instincts are very strong. My hope is that you will be with the character and you will be with him more. When I was maybe 15 or 16, my, my dad used to bring me back the, the tapes and I was really mad about it. I, we were laughing a lot. For me, it's like a Charlie Chaplin, you know? Really quite innocent, in a way. Like a child, eight years old child. And we, we all have been eight years old, so we all understand Bean. Because of a mistake that Mr. Bean makes, he ends up alone on a train with this boy, who then becomes his responsibility. And he has to sort of look after him, and we follow you know, really the journey of these two children, now Bean and this child, uh, as they try to find their way to the south of France. The little boy has to find his dad, who's, uh, who's the director at the jury of the festival. They're like a little family. Bean's inclination is to live a very singular life and do what he, Bean, wants to do. At first he feels a guilt because he realizes that he's you know, he, he's caused the boys uh, problems, uh, and then and then the boy starts to exploit, you know, Bean in in, in, in a way which irritates Bean quite a lot. But then they're stuck together, and they find themselves with you know with no food and no money and no prospects of getting to wherever they want to go. And this brings them together again. We become friends and we go to adventures together. We go, we go through the markets where we, we don't have any money. We're looking all through the food. We get kicked off the train, we get kicked off the bus. I hope that it'll be a movie which will be as true, if not more true, to the character and what people have enjoyed about the character than anything we've done before. I think it's gonna be a movie for everybody. Like you say, from seven to 77? <laughs> I hope so. Thank you.